I'm authentic. I'm authentic. Who are you? Who are you? What up, people? It's Authentic Ben, and I'm back with another video, man. Back with another video. And today, we actually got puppies, man. We get them, we giving them their first little wipe off, you know. Got this this boy right here. He's so nice, bro. He's my favorite. Blue girl boy, you know. Y'all gotta excuse the big ones in the background. They won't cut up. Um, then we got this full blue suit girl. She is beautiful, bro. She is beautiful. Then we got this young sable boy right here. He pressure too. I really like him. You know, a lot of people favorites are the sable, but I like the blues and the blue murals, man. Today, uh, we giving them a quick wipe off because the mama ain't doing a good job at woken at all. You know, she, uh, I don't know, I tried to get her to do it, tried to get her to do it, but she just won, man. So, I don't wanna introduce chemicals to them just yet until they reach a certain age, but I will wipe them down real good, make sure they clean, you know, and they just love that, they just stay still, you know. This is almost like the mama welcoming them. You wanna clean that real good, and it kinda make them go, you know. Look, look, they love it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> it kind of make them go, you know. That's what you want to do, you know. And I'm using, like, kind of warm water. And they feel real, real good to them. So, I basically just wipe them down a little bit first. And kind of, you know, kind of stimulate them. That's what you want to do. The mama really ain't doing a good job at all, so... Usually you wouldn't have to do this, but uh, that's what we ran into, man. Sometimes a mama will be phenomenal. Like Jazz, she took care of the puppies like none other. But this one, she, she just don't want to be a mama, man. She ain't ready to be a mama yet, so we, uh, we doing it manually this time around, you know? Um, it's real important that we get this done. I always leave a little extra water too. We get this mirror boy. Gotta make sure you stimulate them. That's how they learn how to pee. That's how they learn how to poop. You know what I'm saying? Stimulate them real good. And then wipe them down. You know? Wipe them down good. Make sure he real, real clean. And this, these are the only areas I get, really. Um, you know, until later on. Later on, I actually go, you know, give him a full bath with soap, water, all that. But that's later on down the line. I try not to introduce no chemicals right now at all. But you wanna make sure they real, real clean, you know. Real, real good, real, real healthy. So, I'll make sure I do that, man. Um, I really like this Merle boy. <laughs> look, at, look at that, me, man, as soon as I said that. But I really, I really, really like this Merle boy. Uh, what y'all think about adding him to the camp, man? What y'all think, man? Y'all think I ought to add him to the camp? Like hit up the, uh, hit up the breeder and add this boy to the camp? He real nice, I really like him. Man, he pressure. He is pressure. But as but not least, we got the sable. Boom. Right here. You know. Go ahead and get him right. Look at his face. Look at the face. Look at the face. Look at the face. He love that boy. Put a little bit more water. Um since the mama ain't really ain't really getting him right and doing this herself. I like to do this, uh, you know, every couple days, you know, just so they get used to using the bathroom. This is really good with their development, you know? So, try to make sure you get them right. Jazz, like I said, has zero issues with this, zero. Zero issues, she did it with her own kids. 
didn't have to ever do this manual, but it's important they stay clean. Like I said, with some warm water, you don't want to make it too hot. Get them real clean. That way you don't have infection or anything like that. Yeah, you like that, don't you? so they don't have much water on them at all. Get them right. Merle boy right here. Make sure he good. Sable boy. He had a little water on his back. So make sure he real, real dry. They still have trouble maintaining their body temperature. So always make sure they dry. The reason why they're squirming like this is because they're trying to get the heat, you know. But I'm about to go put them back in the light, and then we're gonna get a good measurement on them. All right, we're back in the scale. I'm about to go ahead and get them right up in there. So I'm gonna start with my boy, the Merle right here. Get a good weight on him. You better see what's up. Man. He is 1.36 pounds, man. Nice little boy. Next up is the Sable. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Get a good weight on him. 1.3 for the Sable. And we got the full blue, blue suit girl, man. You know, the only girl out the litter. I'm talking about blue everywhere. This is a fire, fire litter, man. You probably can't tell. She probably looked black on camera, but she's a full blue suit. Go ahead and get, get a good weight on this girl. She is 1.22. 1.22, man. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get them back warm, get them in some good light, and then I'll get back with y'all. So y'all gonna have to excuse all my dogs in the background if y'all hear them, but I got the puppies back in the welcome box. You know, um, they trying to find the light. As you can see, I got the light set up right here. So they trying to, they kind of make their way over there. I, I always put them in the corner and then they just make their way to the heat. They find that heat, bro. Um, I got the mama outside uh, the box right now. She in her own space because I put her in here to feed them and then separate them because I don't know. She just want to do her own thing. She, uh, she, she barely struggled to feed them. Like in the beginning, when I got them, I had to hand feed these puppies like for the first two days and finally got her to let her lay down and feed them good. But she didn't even want to feed them at first. It was, it was a problem, bro. So now she don't want to clean them. And that's real, real important in their health and everything else. So as y'all saw, that's why I manually had to clean them and get them right uh, so they could be healthy. But they all good. They found this spot curled up. Once you find a real, real quiet puppy, that's a happy puppy. If you see them making noise and whining and squirming, something is wrong with the dog and you need to see what's wrong with them. But as you can see, they getting real, real comfortable, real, real cozy. And they probably gonna be asleep in a second. But uh, in the next hour or so, I will be getting them up so they can feed off their mama. But uh, next week, I plan on starting them on mush. So that's gonna be a whole nother experience to see how these puppies react to the mush and uh, slowly convert them to uh, dog food. So that's gonna be real interesting to see, man. So overall, Fudge is a real good mama. Real, real good mama. I just gotta, um, this gotta be her first time because she struggled with, you know, doing the things that should come natural. Like, you know, naturally, whooping the puppies, getting them right, waking them up so they can eat and stuff like that. I would have to lay her down on her side and put each puppy on her 
that should be like a natural instinct. Like Jazz, she would get in the bed, kind of, you know, nudge the puppies to wake up, go to the other side, make sure every puppy is on her. Like Jazz is the, it's the perfect mama when it comes to uh, welping these puppies. And Fudge, on the other hand, she is the complete opposite. I gotta coach her through everything, get her right. And even when I coach her, I gotta make sure she stay there so the puppies can feed. It's, it's crazy, man. This has been a job, but we getting it done, man. We getting it done. And it's gonna be all right, you know. The puppies are progressing well. They gaining. As y'all can see, man, they look like little monsters, man. I can't wait to see them grow and, um, and push things to the next level. Um, I can't wait to see them ears go up. Man, it's gonna be nice. They finally got their eyes to open up like within the first week, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they progressing real, real fast, man. And um, like I said, I'll be waking them up in like an hour so they can get something to, uh, so they can feed, you know, um, stuff like that. I can't wait to see how they react to mush. And I'm gonna take y'all along for the whole ride, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you learned something in this video, man. Till the next one, Authentic Benny, I'm out.